Hi, I'm John Griggs from Celsius. Today I'd like to introduce you to two canvas decoders from our Pazar range. The Slinky and the Slinky 2. Both are universal and self-learning canvas decoder modules. The difference being quite simply, the Slinky has one output and the Slinky 2 has two outputs. The wiring on both these units could not be simpler. First of all we connect onto your 12 volt permanent supply from the red wire. Then we have the black wire, which is the earth, the negative. The next two wires, which are our output wires. On the slim key, we have the pink wire, which is our accessory, and the grey wire, which is our RPM wire. On the slim key two, we have an extra wire, which is our orange wire, which is our second accessory output. And again, the grey wire, which is our RPM wire. And of course, on both the modules, we have our canvas wiring, Quite simply, we have the green and the white. The white is connected to the can high, and the green is connected to the can low. Okay, we've made all the connections into the car. Now we're going to simply replace the fuse back into the fuse carrier. And we will see, showing by the LED on the slim key, that we've got a constant green that is indicating that the power is obviously powered up and the cans are the correct way around if the cans are the wrong way around you'll be getting a flashing red light all we need to do now is decide what output we want at the moment it is set as a default as an ignition we have the ignition on we connect the multimeters and we see we've got 12 volts there turn the ignition off and we go to zero so what we want to do now is program it. To program the module, very very simple. Disconnect the power. With the reset tool, hold it in the reset switch. Replace the power. The LED will go from green to go to off. Remove the key. And you'll see you will have one green flash that is indicating that the output from the pink wire is ignition feed if we press the reset the control button we'll see we'll now get two flashes that is indicating that we have a light output from the pink we can prove this if we save it into there by again pressing and holding once it goes off release it'll go with steady green if we now connect the multimeter to the outputs you'll see we turn the ignition on there's no ignition supply in there we switch the lights on and there we have 12 volts ignition supply very simple to to it to program the accessory wire again to program the gray wire we need to go through the programming sequence to get the correct number of flashes of green and red to get which rpm we want out of there here we now display the contr the contents of the table for the controls we can get from there as you can see very very simple to program